Those living from North Dakota to the Show Me State are already dealing with or bracing for flooding, all thanks to this winter's unusually heavy snowfall in the north. The Coast Guard has closed a 182-mile stretch of the Missouri River to recreational boating as a precaution, and this is how it looks in the North and South Dakotas as water has started overflowing its banks, flooding some yards and parks. In Council Bluffs, Iowa, more than 500 volunteers and jail inmates have filled 200,000 sandbags this afternoon. I probably could be hanging out with the family, but um, this is my town. We have to help each other. You know, if it was my house that was going to flood, I'd, be, I'd hope for everybody to be here as well. And that same kind of concern has trickled down to Parkville, Missouri. Today, city leaders there called an emergency meeting about the potential flooding flowing downriver. 18 years after half of the town was destroyed by fast moving waters. Jake Peterson has that story. Jake. Well, Amy, the mayor saw how much water the Missouri River could be bringing to his town, and he just started, decided to start planning now. The flood is about 10 days away, but this river town isn't taking any chances. Every time they hear the word flood, it, it, they, they incur, they have flashbacks. It's those flashbacks from the flood of 93. Downtown suffered pretty badly. Probably going to sandbag. That prompted an immediate response from Parkville city leaders. They heard water was on its way and this emergency meeting was called. When we saw that it could get that bad, that's when we decided that we had better go ahead and take our precautionary measures. Mayor Jerry Richardson is talking to first responders about communication and asking his staff to find sandbagging volunteers. They're preparing for a flood like 93, but hoping they're being overcautious. At least we're ready, and, uh, and we know what materials and equipment we need to bring in. The mayor says the downtown area could see some water, and so they're trying to protect this area by creating a buffer zone with four-foot-high dikes. Mayor Richardson says they expect to see some water on the parks and streets, but worst case scenario, about two blocks of the downtown will flood. I was there. I lost uh, lost my business in 93. Jim McCall lost his restaurant back in 1993 after the flood put eight feet of water into the building. No one anticipated that, uh, that happening, and by the time we knew it was happening, it was too late. But he, like the other volunteers, hope this early planning will protect Parkville. And some hopeful news here. Leaders with the Levy District aren't anticipating this flood to be as bad as 93 unless we start seeing some heavy rain showers this month. In the newsroom, Jake Peterson, NBC Action News. And to see all the flood warnings or sign up for a weather alert in your area, head to our website, NBCActionNews.com, and click on the Weather tab.